All right, so good afternoon. Today we're going to show you how to create this fun flyer using Microsoft Word. I do have a number of other videos which go through downloading and installing fonts as well as downloading images and working with images in Microsoft Word. So if there's something that I uh, talk about you don't know how to do, please watch one of my prior videos. All right, so first thing we're obviously going to do is create a new document. Uh, then the very next thing we're going to do is insert a, I'm so sorry, we're going to insert a shape. And when we insert a shape, we're going to insert our square. And the square is basically going to be the border for our flyer. Uh, we know that the square is selected because we have the little squares around it. We're going to go ahead and click on Format once we know this object is selected. And we are going to put in a height of 9.25 and a width of seven inches. Okay. So now from here, what I want to do is drag and drop the shape around until I see this T. And now I know that my shape is centered exactly in the middle of the screen. And again, hopefully you saw those little green arrows. So now what I want to do is click on Format, and we want to do a shape fill of no fill and a shape outline of black, and we want the weight of that outline to be six. Okay. Now I want to go through and create sort of this red and white checkered border. I've already downloaded that background. I think I just went to Google and did red and white gingham. Um, so I want to go ahead and insert a picture, and I want to insert my checkered background. Okay. Now if you try to move this image around, you're not going to be able to do it. What you want to do is either click um, up to here on this layout options or you can right click and click wrap text and you want to say in front of text. Now you can move this e image very easily around the page. So from here, I want to right click and I want to copy. I want to click outside of the um, image, you want to be sure the image is not selected and you see a cursor, and then you want to right click again and click paste and keep source formatting. The reason why you want to keep source formatting is just so it's easy and you don't have to um, do the in front of text again. It basically just copies that in front of text. Okay. And then um, while this image is selected, moving the arrow keys around, you can move that image around very easily. So now we see that this image is a little too long. So we're going to want to go ahead and select that image and click on format. We're then going to want to click on Crop, and then we're going to move this over, and again, if you saw that little black T, and now we have our cropped image. From here, we want to left-click, hold down the Shift key, left-click again, right-click, click on Copy, ensure that those images are not selected, so click anywhere else on the paper, right-click again, or Control-V, and Paste. Okay. Again, Control V is just a shortcut for pasting. And then from here, you can very easily move these images around to make this nice background. And once again, we want to do a Control V to paste those. Okay. And again, I am using my arrow keys to move these down. Okay. All right, now I can see that this is a little too long. I could go through and crop it again, or another shortcut is clicking on our border, right-clicking, and saying bring to front. Now we're bringing our border, or that first shape that we put in, um, to the front, and it you have sort of that perfect background. Okay. Now let's go through and um, add in our plaque. So we're going to go ahead and insert shape, and we want to insert our plaque. And let's go through, and I don't have really an exact for this. And again, you're going to look for those, those green lines.
There we go, to ensure that that is now centered. You see that green T? Okay. Now we want to go up and click on the format for this and do a shape fill of dark gray, shape outline of white, and we want to make the weight of the shape outline three points, and we want to add an effect, and we just want to drop a little shadow. I think it adds just a little something. Now we want to add some text boxes. So we're going to go through and insert a text box, and we're going to draw our text box. And from here, we're going to make this bigger, and it's going to say, come join us. And again, in all prior videos, I do show you how to download fonts. So if you don't know how to download fonts, please watch one of my prior videos. Um, what I used for this font is KG Chasing Pavement, and the font size is 26. And we can go ahead and center this. And then we can go ahead and take this text box, make sure that that is centered. And then we want to click on the format for this text box, and we want to do a shape fill of no fill for that text box and a shape outline of no outline for that text box. And obviously, we want this to kind of look like a chalk, so we're going to go back to our home and make that font white. Okay. Now, we need to click, um, create this back to school social, sort of this banner. There's different ways that you can do this. Um, you can obviously find a banner on Google and, um, and use that. I actually found a font which will allow me to um, add banners, and I'll show you which font that is. So we're gonna go ahead and draw a text box. It's gonna be a pretty big text box. And I know it's the letter K, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So I wrote the letter K. And our font that we used is KG Flavor and Frames 6, okay? And this is a 250, this is the size, okay? And now we have our banner. And again, this is just a font. There's all sorts of fun fonts you could find out there. And then obviously we want to click on this text box and then the format, we want to do a shape fill of no fill. And we want to do a shape outline of no outline for that text box. And of course we want to select this text and we want to go home and we want to change that color to yellow. Okay. And then from here we can kind of move this up as well, clicking on the box and moving the arrow keys up. Okay. Now we want to insert the back to school social on top of that. So we're going to draw another text box. And before we actually write in the text, let's do a format and do a shape fill of no fill and a shape outline of no outline. And on this text box, we want to write back to school social. Okay. Uh, this font that I used is KG blank space sketch, and this is a 28 point font, okay. and the color of this is red. Okay. What we want to do now, because as you can see in this prior, is this is slanted, or it has an arch, or an arc if you will. So we want this to have an arc along with our banner. Okay. So what we want to do is click on format and we want to click on text effects. Then we want to click on transform and we want to add our arch. Okay. Now let's go ahead and add in another text box for our Friday night. Draw a text box. Oopsies. night and we are going to format this text box as always do a shape fill of no fill and do a shape outline of no outline once you do a shape fill of no fill a shape fill of no outline the first time you should just be able to click on it um, just as a, as a little shortcut which is what I just did now we want to go home and we want to change this to return to sender and the size is 72 and the text color is white, and let's go ahead and center that. Okay. 
Now we want to add that um, line of circles. So if we take a look at our prior flyer or our example, we can see those um, sort of dots right there. So what we want to do here is insert another text box and we want to draw our text box and we want to insert, we're going to go all the way over here, a symbol. And there are multiple different symbols that you can insert. Um, but we're going to go ahead and insert four of these little dots that I have selected right here. Okay. And then from here, we're obviously going to click on this text box. We're going to format and do a shape fill of no fill. And you could do a shape outline of no outline. And we want to highlight these and we want to change the font size to a 20 and we want to interchange these of white and red. So I'm just changing the text color as you can see here and multiple different fonts that you download um, will sometimes come with different symbols as well. So you can really have fun with those symbols and get creative. And then from here, we're just going to, like a normal font, press Control C, or you could right click, and we're going to paste. And I'm hitting Control V as a shortcut to paste. And then from here, I can make this text box just a little bigger. There we go. Uh, now we want to insert another text box, which has our date and time and we want to make this bigger and we obviously want to format this and do a shape fill of no fill and a shape outline of no outline and we're going to write September 17th 5 o'clock p.m. to 8 o'clock p.m. and the font that I used is KG makes you stronger, and the size is 28, and the color is white. Okay. All right, now we want to add in that fun little um, swirl, swirly sponsored by Eastgate PTA, as you can see here. So what we're going to do is once again insert a text box and let's draw a text box right over here. And we're going to write sponsored by the Eastgate PTA. And what we want to do is actually format this text box and we want to edit the shape and we want to change the shape and we're going to change the shape to a swirl, if you will, or a wave, I believe is what it's called. And then we're just going to change the shape outline to red, and we're going to change the weight to a one and a half. And then we obviously want to change the text to Gretchen Shaded. There we go, Gretsch shaded. And we want to change the color to red. And we want to change the size to 24. And then we obviously want to make this wavy. So once again, we're going to click on format and we're going to click on, I'm so sorry, text effects. And we're going to click on transform. And we're going to go down to our wave. All right, now we want to add in and our last fun drinks food. So we're going to insert once again another text box. Fun drinks food. 
And once again, this is return to sender. So I'm going to click on home, click on fonts, return to sender. And the size is 72. And the color is yellow. And obviously we want to do a no fill and we want to do a no outline. And once again, actually let's go home and let's center this. And then once again, we want to click on format and we want to click on text effects and we want to transform and we want to have this go up a tad. And then finally, we're going to have our see you at the very bottom. So we're going to insert once again, one more text box. We're going to draw a text box down here and we're going to write see you exclamation point because every flyer for an elementary school needs an exclamation point to a shape fill of a no fill and a shape outline of no outline. We're going to copy the or highlight, go to home. The um, font is KG tangled up and the size is 48 and we want to center this and then we want to finally format this, do a text effect, transform and we want to, here we are, do our transform. And let's do home and let's make this white. There we go. And you could obviously play with the spacing a little bit, have this go up, you can move everything up. Um, but that is basically how you can create this fun little flyer um, using Microsoft Word. And again, um, you might want to play a bit with some of the spacing, play a bit with some of the, the fonts, um, as well as the sizing. I hope you found this interesting. And again, please feel free to watch and like any and all of my videos on YouTube. Thanks so much.